Hello, good morning everyone. Now we are going to understand what are the types of seeds found in plants. How seed is formed? Flower contains pistil having stigma, style and ovary. Over, within ovary there is ovule. Ovule contain mother cells which are called new cellars. New cellar cell will undergo, one of the new cellar cell behaves like mother cell undergoes meiosis forms megaspores megaspores will uh, develop into female gametophyte female gametophyte contains egg and the polar nuclei which gets fertilized so that egg gets converted into embryo embryo is a future plant when it germinates a new plantlet will be coming and polar nuclei which has been fertilized by male gamete will form endosperm and role of endosperm is to nourish the growing embryo the regions around the endosperm integuments will harden up to form a seed. Now, when the embryo is developing into a future plant, it, can, it will consume the food, that is, it will consume the endosperm. And at maturity, some seeds will be retaining this endosperm. Those which retain endosperm are called endospermous seed or albuminous seed. There are seeds which don't retain endosperm at all. They completely use it. They eat it uh, during the germination. That is called non-albuminous or non-endospermous seed. Look at here. A bean seed is taken. This is the cotyledon of bean seed. And this is a embryo, part of embryo, plumule, radical, which will develop into shoot and root. You don't find any remnants of endosperm, red colored one because it has been completely consumed in germination of the embryo. Such seeds are non-albuminous seeds. Example, mnemonics I have taken, Mr. Bean's pigeon went off the ground. If you remember this statement, bean, beans, pigeon, pea, ground, groundnut. Three examples are given for non-albuminous seeds. Albuminous seeds or endospermous seed. These are the seeds in which endosperm is retained even after uh, embryo develops. Here there is an embryo, it is uh, even though it is developing, there at the periphery there is endosperm which is still retained. Such seeds are albuminous seeds. Examples, many examples are there. Again, I have taken uh, mnemonics. Obama, I think it has a name. Obama's son went to California to drink coconut. Wa, here, W A. W stands for wheat, B A stands for barley, M A stands for maize, sun stands for sunflower, California stands for C A castor, coconut. These are the examples given in the NCRT which you have to remember. Through mnemonics you can easily remember. A for America you can remember. Third type of seeds are called perispermous seed. What are perispermous seed? Inside of you there is new cellulose. Usually, in non-albuminous and albuminous seed, new cellars, once embryo and endosperm is formed, it gets degenerated, it disappears. But if you consider certain pepper seeds, in them, there will be new cellars which will be retained even after development uh, of the seed. So, what seed which retains the new cellars, here there is little bit endosperm is there. Apart from that, new cellus is also there. Such seeds are called perispermous seed. And the retained new cellus is called perisperm. Example, you can remember beet the black. Beet and black pepper. These are the three types of seeds found in plants. Thank you for watching.